Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carlene, and today we're going to be discussing my future de stash of these beautiful pins. Sorry for the shaking, I just hit the table. Um, I have to have a heart of heart to myself, a heart to heart with myself in regards to my pen collection habit <laughs> and what actually am I utilizing on a regular basis and which items really should be moved on to a, another person or another collection um, as I'm not actually using these pens. They're beautiful, they're gorgeous, and yet I do not reach with, for them. Um, so let's begin. This one is the Sailor Pro Gear Mini. It's, this color is what, what drew me in. I have this pen in this color, which is like the Azure blue color, um, as well as, and this is the second generation of the pen, um, as well as in the rose taupe. And so I have the same issue with both of them, with the rose taupe and with this uh, Azure blue. But the reason why I'm, I'm letting this one go um, is because with the rose taupe, that was the first generation, it had the screw on the bottom of the barrel. Um, and so you would be able to screw on the cap and, and have it stay there securely. Whereas the second generation did not have this. Um, uh, the main issue I have with both of the pens is that the these pens really were only at the, at the time only able to um, utilize cartridges and I'm not a big cartridge person um, I like to be able to change my ink at a whim and with the cartridge I felt like I had to keep it in until it was dry and very rarely do I write my inks dry so I think they have resolved that issue I'm not 100% sure but just the whole process of finding a cartridge that I liked and fill it, putting it in and it the the space between the end of the barrel and the barrel is just too small to take a converter. So after all that, I said I'll keep an ex one of the pens and so this one has to go. The next one is going to be this beautiful here, beauty here. This is the Sailor Pro Gim Slim. Well, this is the mini, this is the slim and it the colorway is the autumn drizzle with the gold um, trim. This is also a hard medium fine as well as this one and it's gorgeous. I love the color. I love the look. Um, and, it's, and I'm not sure if you can tell on this video, but the barrel is actually a, like almost matted. Unlike other of the sailor pens where this is shiny this is more like of a, a matte and so um it's beautiful but my issue is, is i'm just not picking it up and i may i feel like i may regret selling this um but i don't want to hold on to something for a possible regret in the future and so this has to go look at this this little pink um finial on the top and bottom is gorgeous but I just don't see myself reaching for the 14K nibs. Like the writing experience with the Sailors and the 14K, um, they're nice, but I have other writing experiences that I enjoy a lot more. And so I find myself, as you can see, there are a lot of Sailors that are about to be sold off because they're not the ones I actually um, find myself drawn to. This is also another Pro Gear Slim. This is just a black with the silver trim. And this is a, I can't tell, this is a medium fine. Beautiful. I don't even think I've ever inked this one up. And it's a shame, like I spent all this money and that, that's another thing I'm doing. I'm going through my collection and saying, okay, was why did I purchase this? Were these all impulse purchases? And I can tell you every single one of my pen purchases seem to be an impulse, which is what I'm trying to like move away from in 2023, like being more um, mindful on what I purchase and how I purchase them. 
The next one is another gorgeous one. It's called the Dragon Palace. I remember seeing this pen and searching it out and it was sold out everywhere. And when I then I it came across my radar maybe a year or so later after it initially came out and I jumped on it. I jumped on it so fast that I forgot. <laughs> I did not like the riding experiences with the sailor and the 14 14k um what uh nibs <sighs> again gorgeous and this one has little sparkles in it it's pretty so moving on to the 1911 <clears throat> sailor slims again another beautiful this is inked up um, another beautiful pen i love the color i love blues blues are one of my favorite colors in fountain pens um, and so I was like, oh, I don't have any pen this color. But once again, the writing experience, and I'll say this, the writing experience is not horrible by any nature. And plenty of people love the way that sailors write. And I, there are some times when I'm in the mood for, to write with a sailor. But that mood does not strike me as often as it does with my other fountain pen. So this beauty is gonna have to find the home. And this colorway, I think this is one called, this is, so this one was called Stormy Seas and this is Fresca Blue. And I got these within a month of each other, I wanna say, like they were back-to-back -back purchases. And I just love the colors, these colors together. I love the Fresca color. I have, actually did not see this colorway when it first came out. So I actually picked it up months and months and months after it was released, maybe even a, a year or so after it was released. And so another per um, impulse purchase, and that this impulse purchase, I know, I remember, I found it from, um, from the pen swap on Reddit. And this is also a medium fine. And that's the other thing. All of my sailors started off in the medium fine range, either medium, no, either fine or medium fine because most of the U.S. releases have like one size, right? So they seem to have been all medium fines. And maybe that was the reason why I wasn't liking them because I have sailors in, in a zoom nib that I absolutely love and I'm, I'm not letting go at any point in time. So let's talk about this one. This is the, the Sailor Rialo. I spent, this was not an impulse purchase because I spent a couple of years trying to find a reasonably priced Rialo because they were, people had them on sale for a ridiculous amount of money. And this was years ago. And so as my tolerance of pen costs went up, um, I was able to finally purchase this. And then I did realize I'm not the biggest fan of this one. What size is this? This is the medium. Um, no. I, this is a medium and this is, is this the 21K? Yes, this is the 21K. And I'm, if I'm not mistaken, these are one of, this is one of my first 21K pens. Yeah, this is ink. So, this is a 21K Rialo. It's beautiful. It's a piston filler. While all the other ones were cartridge fillers, this was a piston, my very first Sailor piston filler. And I was desperate to get my hands on one. Um, and it was a beautiful pen. Was I in love with this colorway? No, but I wanted I was absolutely in love with this pen. And so when I received it, I first wrote with it and I was a little bit confused because it was so soft. And then I realized that this was actually a 21K nib and not a 14K nib. And so it took me some time to get used to writing with this type of nib. So um, I then went on to get, so this is the, if this is the medium, I went on to get another Rialo that was a special edition that was just gorgeous. And I, if I have time, I will grab it. Um, which meant that I decided to let go of this one because I knew that I did not need two Rialos in my collection. Oh, and here we go, these three. 
these were not impulse purchases. These were sought after, desperately looked for them at reasonable prices because the online the online vendor prices were out of my range, but I kept on seeing them at significant discounts uh, from private sellers. And so I had to like wait and figure out when I could purchase them um, when they made fine financial sense for me for my budget and so i purchased them all separately and i was luckily and lucky enough to get them in three different sizes the fine the medium and the broad and they're gorgeous but i literally only purchased these pins for the look and i know other individuals have had similar concerns in regards to this pin the actual feeling of holding the pin at first i thought it wasn't going to bother me <laughs> but lo and behold it they do um the pen itself a one the pen themselves are wonderful writers i love them but it, but these channels in the pen they they cause me not to want to pick them up as in like these other pens are nice and smooth barrels all three of these pens have channels and textures on them. And so I just don't like the feeling when I'm holding it. And I don't, it's, and that is the only reason why I'm selling them is because I do not reach for them only because of the feeling of the barrel. All right, let's try to get these last three in and then we can move on. So this is a Lamy 2000 Oblique. Mind you, these are all gold nibs. Lamy Oblique Medium, and I caught this on a sale from Endless Pens, and it was my third Lamy. And you would think I would learn my lesson of buying things without really thinking to myself, will I actually use it? The answer is no. I have a Lamy in a fine, I have a Lamy 2K in a fine, I have a Lamy 2K in a medium, and I decided, ooh, I should get the Lamy 2K in a Oblique. No. This does not, I'm not sure if I'm, if my grip is correct when I'm trying to write with this, but it does not speak to me. And I was like, I want to get rid of all of my Lama 2Ks, but I decided to keep the medium and the fine until I make a final decision. But this one had to go because it was just, it never gets, it never gets used. This beauty here, let me tell you how desperate, this was not an impulse buy. I spent over two years trying to find this and then in a matter of a weekend, I found two of them. And I purchased both of them because I wasn't sure which one I was going to keep. So I have two of these beautiful Pelican, uh, beautiful Pelican M600 Special Edition Turquoise. And if you know, then you know that at some point, these were absolutely impossible to get, right? And still to this day, there's still some issues of getting them. And they because they come in so many colorways, you can't find like, them at reasonable price. I think MSRP is about like 500, but street price is about 399 or so. And I did not pay 399 for these. I paid a little bit less than that um, from a private, from two different private sellers on Reddit. And so I was able to purchase them, one in a medium, one in an extra fine, one in a medium. And I kept them because I couldn't decide which one to give up. And then when I said, okay, well, I'm going to give up the medium because I have other extra fine pins in the Pelican. Um, I said, maybe I'll keep this until I find the last missing pin that I'm looking for, which is the pink. And maybe I'll have somebody who's like me who has two of them and wants to exchange a pink. I put that request out a couple of times on Reddit and no one has, has taken me up on it because they want to sell the pink one for like $1,000, which I'm not going to do. So instead of keeping keep holding on to this one of these extra ones, I am going to sell the extra fine, right? Yes, this is the extra fine one. And lastly, this is the Waterman Kareen. Um, this one, uh, these this is I think it's called like the Amber Shimmer. I've never liked writing with this from day one that I received it. I it I only purchased this. I was influenced to purchase this because when I initially saw this pen, um, it did not call to me, but I kept on seeing reviews and posts on Reddit and on Facebook about how wonderful this pen is. And for me, it does nothing for me. Also, it's a 
a metal pen and I don't like metal pens. So after over the past few years, I've been collecting since I want to say 2016, 2017. And some of the things I've had to, um, I've discovered about my fountain pen use and what I like and what I don't like is that one, I don't like metal pens. Two, I'm not in love with, with wood pens. Three, I do like a little bit of girth to my pens. The skinnier the pen, the harder it is for me to actually write. Um, four, I don't like soft nibs, which is one of the things I'm running into with Sailor 21K nibs. They are a lot softer than I initially expected. And so, I'm sorry, 21K nibs. And so I have another set of pens that at some point I will sell, but I'm holding on for now until these are gone, um, which are a bunch of 21K nibs that are beautiful, that write beautiful, but I feel as if um, I'm not really enjoying the writing experience with the 21K nibs, right? Certain ones. And then, um, and then the texture on the barrel also is, it's bothersome. So anyways, that's all I had to say about these pens. Hopefully, um, they all sell because <laughs> I would love to move them on to other buyers who would actually really love and utilize them and cherish them the way they need to, need to be versus them just collecting dust and sitting here for years and never um, get ink and just and just go to waste. I think it's a waste. And so I'm trying to be more mindful of, of my collecting and to move things on to better homes. All right, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully, if you like and see what you like, what you hear, um, and you see these pins on, um, what's called pen swap on Reddit, feel, feel free to uh, shoot me a DM and I can answer any questions that you may have. If not, um, y'all have a wonderful day. All right, bye, peace.